Go Corona Go! Go Corona Go! Saying Go Corona Go won't stop the spread of COVID-19. Neither will consuming Gau Mutra. Coronavirus has been declared a pandemic and has infected over 1.9 lakh people and has claimed nearly 8,000 lives. In the midst of panic and paranoia and absence of treatment, health professionals are putting their weight behind hand hygiene. How is it that our ordinary soap is being used to fight the pandemic? Well, the answer lies in its molecular composition. Soap has two halves, one half loves water and the other half loves fatty acids or lipid. So when we're washing the dirty dishes in our kitchen, what happens is soap interacts with water as well as oil on our dishes. And when we scrub it and rinse it with water, the remnants of the food go away and we get a clean mug. And that's exactly what happens with our hands. This is how coronavirus looks. Its outer membrane consists of lipids. This layer not only protects it, but also helps it in spreading and cellular invasion. While washing hands, soap attaches itself to the virus, but it also wants to interact with water. This push and pull end up breaking or dissolving the membrane. When you rinse your hands, all the microorganisms that have been damaged, trapped and killed by soap molecules are washed away. The virus is quite sticky and may not budge with water alone. Soap helps dissolving the glue that holds the virus together. You have to wash your hands long enough for this to happen. And that's why we have 20 seconds challenge. By the way, we also have a Spotify playlist called COVID-19. Now you can wash your hands to your favourite tracks by Post Malone, Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, your pick. You're not rinsing away the virus particles and it's all sitting on your hands. Using a sanitizer that contains 60% alcohol and rubbing it into your hands for at least 20 seconds to ensure full coverage. And follow it up by washing hands with soap. Sanitizers are a good backup when soap and water are not accessible. And do not wash your hands with cow urine.